This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, April 3rd. I'm James Spann, obviously on the road here this morning. I will be back in the office by early afternoon. Some active weather coming up. The focus will be on the severe weather threat late this afternoon and tonight. Let's take a look at things. We'll start with the water vapor satellite view. A wave pushing a cold front down this way. Some really rough weather early this morning north of the state in the pre-dawn hours. Uh, that was the radar about 5 o'clock. Huge storms passing through Louisville, producing major flooding. A number of water rescues there. Roads closed. In fact, uh, Interstate 65 closed at one point near Louisville, Louisville because of flooding early this morning. But for us, the day today should be mostly dry. Uh, up in that zone, we have flash flood watches for most of Kentucky and some of the adjacent states. Now, in Alabama, that's a dense fog advisory early this morning, uh, basically south of Interstate 20. There was a tornado watch in effect for parts of north and northeast Arkansas until 9 o'clock this morning. And this is the convective outlook. The enhanced risk runs from almost Vicksburg, Mississippi, up to Louisville. Uh, in Alabama, the enhanced risk includes north and west Alabama, places like Muscle Shoals, Hamilton, Haleyville, Huntsville. The standard slight risk extends down to Gadsden and Calera and Livingston, and the marginal risk extends down to Montgomery. And obviously, we'll focus on the uh, threat here in just a bit with modeling. This is the tornado probabilities, uh, the, the chance of a tornado in the 5% bracket over the far northwestern corner of the state, Muscle Shoals and Athens and points north. Uh, where we are, the tornado threat is only in the 2% bracket. Really, the, the bigger numbers represent hail. This is the uh, chance of... Uh, uh, hail, severe-sized hail, one inch in diameter or larger within 25 miles of a given point. The higher numbers in that enhanced risk. And again, as it passes, as the squall line passes through Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, the core threats will be from hail and strong, gusty, straight-line winds. This is the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. So this counts the rain tonight and the rain that comes back early next week. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about one to two inches. All right, model fans, the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. You can see the troughing uh, north of the state. The dynamic support, you can see a little north of here. Uh, at 1 o'clock, the surface low is just west of Cincinnati, not especially deep. And again, you can see the bulk of the day today should be dry, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Uh, I would say the high today will be pretty close to 80 in most spots. Now, this is 6 o'clock off the HRRR. This is when things begin to get active. Now, the question is, can, can this verify? This is suggesting some cellular-type activity out ahead of the main line of storms. And, uh, you know, if we see something like that, there might be a low-end tornado threat with those storms up in the northwestern part of the state. Let's look at some of the severe weather parameters. This is the surface-based instability off the HER. Numbers are pretty... Pretty uh, aggressive here. They've got the uh, instabilities over 2,000 joules per kilogram over the northwestern corner of the state, and that's certainly sufficient for severe weather. Uh, but the helicity, th this is the low-level storm relative helicity. The values are much higher north of the state. That's not overly impressive, suggesting the better chance of a tornado more than likely would be north of Alabama. Could there be one? Yes. But is it likely? Not especially. No. So the tornado threat doesn't seem especially high. Uh, the core of the winds at 850 millibars, the low-level jet that's about 5,000 feet off the ground, again, north of Alabama. Energy helicity index uh, does exceed one unit. In fact, it uh, touches two units there in a spot over northwest Alabama. And this is the uh, LCL height in the uh, you can see they're over 1,000 meters over East Alabama. You, you don't have tornadoes when LCL heights are over 1,000 meters. They're just under 1,000 meters to the west. So, again, the, the bottom line is the, the prime threat tonight will be from hail and strong, gusty, straight-line winds. The tornado threat is not zero. There might be an isolated tornado over the far northwestern corner of the state this evening. And then the storms weaken after midnight tonight. Tomorrow, beautiful day to start the Easter weekend, sunny with low 60s. Very nice. Sunday, Easter, the morning will be chilly. The low down around 40. Colder pockets go in the 30s. There'll be some scattered frost in the colder valleys. And Sunday afternoon, the high should be in the upper 60s to near 70. But Monday, the moisture comes right back. Uh, surface low on the plains of Colorado. 
Gulf of Mexico opens up. Good chance of showers and storms. Now, Tuesday looks relatively dry. Uh, there could be a few scattered storms, but it looks, may, looks like maybe a decent part of the day will be dry. And we stay in a moist air mass all next week with, with a chance of scattered showers and storms. It's going to be impossible to give you specific start-stop times. But there could be a few scattered storms Wednesday. Same thing Thursday. And again, along the way, there could be some severe weather issues here. You can see a deep surface low on the Oklahoma-Kansas border. Uh, that would suggest maybe the core threat would be west of the state. And then this is a week from today, Friday the 10th, uh, 10th uh, broad troughing west of the state. And that might be kind of a severe weather look for us uh, with a surface low moving into southern Illinois. But obviously a week in advance, we can't be specific. Bottom line is next week looks warm, moist, unsettled with uh, showers and storms. Some risk of rain almost every day, but it's not going to be continuous. Here's the end of the forecast, April 12th. This is... Uh, Look at the trough there. Wow. It's uh, Sunday the 12th, and down below that, we are cool and dry, but no risk of any frost, if this is right. In fact, you can see, really, we got that cold morning Sunday, but after that, numbers look pretty good with 70s and 80s, and during the day, 50s and 60s at night. A very good chance Sunday morning will be the last threat of frost until sometime in October. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.